Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue you might have if Direct Draw or Direct 3D is not available and you do not have that option. And you might be receiving an error that says that your video adapter does not meet the minimum game requirements. So there are a couple of things that we can go through in this tutorial to hopefully resolve this problem. The first one I'd recommend you do is go into Device Manager and manually update your video adapter. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to really go through and waste a tutorial on that. I have made tutorials in the past of how to update your video adapters before, so it's pretty straightforward. And you want to make sure that you're not having any other programs that might be running in the background of your computer that are interfering with this game. So that's also another important aspect to consider that obviously this tutorial cannot address if you personally have another program running in the background. So if you have ensured that both of those things are taken care of and you're still experiencing problems, we're going to jump into what should hopefully be a resolution for most of you guys. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, I'm going to open up Edge because it's the most convenient for me to open up. And I'm going to, into Google, type in DirectX. and user runtime web installer and I'm gonna do a quick Google search and the best match that comes up at the time of this recording should be a Microsoft domain that says download DirectX and user runtime web installer I'm gonna open this up if you're unable to find it you're always welcome to go to Microsoft directly and go underneath search Microsoft.com and type the same thing in so once we're on this page where it says DirectX and user runtime web installer we want to make sure our language is correct first and foremost. And then underneath system requirements, if you click on this little plus, basically anything newer than Windows XP Service Pack 3 will be good, including Windows XP Service Pack 3 itself. So once you've ensured that you meet the system requirements and the language is correct, you're ready to click on this download button right here to begin the download. I'm going to uncheck the box where it says MSN default homepage. If you guys want to include it, that's your own prerogative but I'm going to deselect that because I do not believe it's necessary and I'm going to select no thanks and continue to continue the installation and the download itself for the web installer is only about 285 kilobytes so it's pretty small I'm going to save the file and it should be finished pretty quick and then I'm going to just run it depending on what web browser you're using the process might look a little bit different but in the end, you should get to a screen that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to select yes. You're going to get a screen that says, welcome to setup for DirectX. Once you've looked through the end user license agreement, you want to click inside this box that says, I accept the agreement. And then left click on next. I'm going to deselect the option that says, install the Bing bar, because I do not feel it is necessary for this tutorial and I'm going to select next again and you will have to click on this finish button once again once it is finished downloading so if you do not have it installed it's going to have to run and update but it appears my version is already up to date so I do not need to install over it I'm going to just click on finish and if you're still experiencing a problem you can always uninstall DirectX and then reinstall it using the site that I showed in this tutorial but as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.